the coaching situation in this conference is uh, pretty unique because it's somewhat of a stepping stone, but at the same time, it's obviously big time college football. And it has distinguished itself just in the last couple of years as the best of the group of five conferences. I think most people would agree there. Uh, so we've got four interesting new hires, guys that have performed on big stages as coordinators or coaches uh, uh, as the head coaching position. Scott Frost is one guy that jumps out to me because of his pedigree in winning a national championship in Nebraska as a quarterback and then also going to Oregon and, of course, being uh, – integral as the offensive coordinator and running some of the more uh, exciting offensive systems uh, in college football. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, four new head coaches in the American this year and uh, definitely some offensive uh, experience and success making its way to the conference. Um, you know, you look at a guy like Scott Frost, comes from Oregon, and he, he gets to work with Justin Holman, who, you know, he's kind of had some up and down seasons the past couple of years, but he's a guy that's shown his ath athleticism and has a lot of potential and um, he's headed into his uh, senior season and they've had some time to work together in the off season. So it'll be interesting to see what Scott Frost can do with a team that went winless last year. And one of his big things at media day was those guys, they had a bad taste in their mouth from last year and they've worked hard to just make sure that that never happens again. So um, I think that you'll definitely see improvements uh, with his group this year and it's kind of going across the board. I mean, you look at Memphis, Mike Norvell, the youngest head coach in the FBS. So he's, um, you know, found some success early on in his coaching career. Obviously, Paxton Lynch, uh, they lost him to the NFL draft last year. So they'll have a little bit of rebuilding to do. But I know he's pretty optimistic with the quarterbacks that he has to work with. Um, Scotty Montgomery, kind of an interesting, you know, hire as well, coming from down the road at Duke, not too far away. So he's very familiar with Pirate Nation and the the pride that uh, is in Greenville, North Carolina. So I know he's excited to work with Philip Nelson, uh, his starting quarterback. So he'll have one year with him and, and hopefully be able to do some good things and get that program, uh, you know, some excitement continuing on there. And then uh, Willie Fritz at Tulane, um, you know, that's a program that's, that's looking for some, some uh, just momentum and energy. And he has found a way to win at every level he's played at, at every school he's played at. And so he feels he can do the same thing at Tulane. Well, Haley, I got to tell you that uh, I don't cover the American Athletic Conference on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm all over college football with a power five and so forth. Uh, I reconnected with uh, Tommy Tuberville. I covered him at Ole Miss and at Auburn. We reconnected on Twitter and uh, that kind of got me back into the flow the last couple of years, and I made it out to media day. So I really wanted to connect with somebody who would provide some insight and depth uh, to the conference. So I, I found you on Twitter. And uh, in regards to your situation, your assignments uh, coming up this fall, where, where can people find you? Yeah, so the American Digital Network has uh, continued to grow the past few years. I'm entering my third year here. And um, you know, every every week we have features, highlights, on-demand content every day of the week. So you can find us on our website at theamerican.org slash DN. Um, we're also on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. So we have content rolling out uh, throughout the course of the week, just featuring not only football, but all of our other sports. And um, I think our most exciting addition uh, that we're bringing to the network this year is our Campus Connect program. So we have actually a student reporter on every campus, campus kind of being those eyes, ears, and feet on the ground. So they'll be bringing some pretty special stories to us from campus as well. Really good stuff. Haley Outen from the American Digital Network. Uh, Haley, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Mark.